Hello, my name is Anna and I am a general consultant here at Mayan Technologies. In today's video, we'll be looking into how to create and manage company trees, approval maps and assignment maps. Today's video will be divided into how to manage a company tree, how to manage and create an assignment map and how to create and manage an approval map. We will first start by configuring the company tree. For this, we will have to go to the configurations tab and under the organization's profile, we will click company tree. Right here, I already have a company tree created with one branch under the name administrative. In this, we can see a small part of our company's hierarchy and under the administrative department, we have two work groups, service and support and marketing. This shows, again, the hierarchy that we have inside the company. In marketing, we have two employees, and in services and, and support, we have four employees. Now, um, I want to now create another work group on the administrative, which will encompass our sales department. So I will click here in administrative and click add. What this does is that adds another work group under the hierarchy of an administrative. So I will click here and I want it to be sales. And now we will click save. And now what I want to do is add the members that I will be in within this work group. So I will click add and I will add the employees that I know that are on the sales department, which are Amanda and James. As you can see, Acumarica here shows us the department the employees are under, which is sales. And now I will click save. So now we can see that in my company tree, which is company, I have only one branch that is administrative. And under that, I have three work groups. OK, but now I want to keep adding onto this tree to have more organization. And I want to add another hierarchy, which will be under the name solutions. So this will be the one where I will add all the employees that will, will be working on site and, and under the productions department. So now I will have to click company and click new. What this does is it created another branch that's under company. This means this is not part of the administrative hierarchy. So let's see, I will click on solutions, save, and now add a new work group. As you can see here, now I have a new hierarchy that will be solutions. And here I want a work group that will be exclusively uh, composed of employees that will be going on site. So here I want an on site. And I will click Save. And now it's time to add the members. So I want Michael. And now it's time to add the members. So I want Martin and Todd. And I will click Save. So here in this work group, I have added the two employees that I know that will be working on site within my company. And for example, I want to add another work group with managers or I want to add another work group as my maintenance or whatever your company needs. We have to first see if it will be needed to create another branch or if the department will be under a certain branch as a work group. So now that we have created this, we can move on into our next chapter that will be that will be creating an assessment map and approval map. For that we will always for that we will also have to go to configuration tab and under the organization just below company tree we have assignment and approval maps. So here we have the assignments and approval maps window. So how does this work and why is it useful for me? Well, first of all, uh, approval maps are 
as type of hierarchy as well as the company trees, but in this is a workflow. So for example, if I don't want my interns or the new employees to be in charge of invoices or sales or production, because I am still training them or I have a hierarchy of management, I can create an approval map where under certain conditions, the workflow will be moving to certain employees. So, for example, I have an approval map already created under the account receivable name. So, let's go in. And this, we have the name of our map, which is IR, which is accounts receivable. We have the entity type, which is going to be the type or the entry or section into which our approval map will be working. The selection of this allows us to specify further on here in the rules which, which sections or fields we want to affect. So here I created a rule which is IR, invoices and memos and everything equal or greater than 500 which is the name, the description, here we have uh, and the entity, I can select anything I want. I have approval, which will mean that who will be approving. We have bill to address, contact, all these options will let me select what I want to be a condition. So in this case, I have the IR invoice memo and in field name also have every option if it's the owner of that invoice or client, if I have a specific project, a specific reference number, done email, print, we have a lot of options of what we can do and what we can condition this rule to be. So for this, I want amount. Now we have the conditions, which are the typical ones we have in other programs or rules, formulas. And now I have that it's greater, it's greater than or equal to 500. What this will do is the first step of a rule where I want to select if any invoice is done that is greater than 500 to whom it will be sent to be approved. So for that, we will go to rule actions. And I have here that my employee that will be in charge of approving any invoice that it's equal or greater than 500 will be amend. So the, I can change this. I can go to any one of my employees, my list of employees that I consider in the hierarchy or that are more suitable for the approval of this specific rule. And I can select it here. What I can also do is select a work group, right? administrative. Let's see, in sales. And in that case, I will only have the option to select two employees, which will be Amanda and James. So I want to delete that and we will click save. Now, now that we are here, let's add another rule. So we will click here, IR and invoices and memos. We'll click add, which will allow us to create a new rule. And now we will create a new rule. And now I want an approval map or approval rule of relating to, let's see, country. So here I will type my identifier. And I will click add and I want customer we'll here click build to address then here we have country and I want it to be the US so
and then I will go to role actions and my employee will be also Amanda. So this means that every So this means that every So this means that every invoice that is greater than 500 will be going to Amanda and every invoice that it's the US will go to Amanda as well or let's change it to James and every invoice that it's done to be built to the US will go to James. This means that James will have to be approving the transaction. And now let's do a little bit of a difference here. And we will go to an assignment map. The difference here is that assignment map will be the flow of the workflow. So for example, let's go to the CRM team which is one that's already created. For example, taking an account, the last one that we did with the country. In this case, for example, if we want to assign a certain countries, sections, departments to a specific uh, employees, we will go here. So this is an assignment map that I had already created, which is the CRM team, which will be marketing. So I have lead assignment to the USA and lead assignment to international. So here in the USA, I have an entity will be address. So this is a condition that everything related to the address specifically to country that equals the US. Let's go here to value and then at US. Then we will click save. So everything that goes here now, what well, will be the rules action will be employee and Michael Andrews. So every lead that is created for that was created by anyone in the company, it doesn't matter who it was, as long as it is in the US, it will be assigned to Michael. And let's now imagine that international. So here we go to the rule. So here we have now that the rule is as similar to the last one, which is entity address, field name, country. Now the condition is does not equal to the US, it will be assigned to Lila. So again, it doesn't matter who creates the lead, as long as it is not in the US, it will be assigned to Lila. This doesn't mean that they have to approve anything, it just means that now this lead will be Laila or Michael will be in charge of this lead. It doesn't mean they have to approve anything yet. And this is how we create an assignment map and an approval map. And that will be all for today's video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.